Are you feeling a little better? I feel a lot better today. So yesterday I was feeling pretty sick, had to stop quite a bit, threw up about four times. Luckily, I feel like I'm getting over that. Let's get some full bellies and hydrate today. Maybe we can get some good fish, set up a couple lines, and try to get some more protein for us to eat. I haven't worked with a hook and line on a challenge yet, so I'm looking to learn more from them and help out my team with fish. We've got some strong women out here. Correct. Today I'm really excited. I am going to go fishing with the girls. Jen needs this food so bad right now, so. We're gonna get her fed, and then Trish is a fisher lady too. And this is a perfect moment where I can actually teach Jen how to fish. So that way, when it comes to taking turns fishing, we could all do it and contribute, which is what it takes to be a team. <gasps> what? A leech on me. Oh, well, let's use it for bait. <laughs> oh my gosh. Many leeches in the Amazon have multiple rows of teeth and can suck 10 times their weight in blood. With leeches, ripping it off can leave my skin with an infection with their teeth in there still, depending on how long it's been on me. So we gotta pull it off properly. Oh my God! Ah! It's like pulling oh my, my skin! Sorry. Oh my God. Oh my, it's already latched onto my thumb. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go um, try to get a fish. All right. Game on. All right, Amber, what you doing? Kind of tease the water. That's when the fish are the most active. Come on, Amber, get breakfast. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got one. Nice. Oh, it's, oh, nice. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, girl. Um, First fish of the look day. Look at that one. Good size one. Yes. Yeah, it is. Ooh -wee. All right, Jen, get out here. We're really hoping for her to get her first fish Give me because that first. she'll never forget it. Okay. So remember, they, they like to play with you as soon as they pull your line. Give it a second because they trick you and then they get off the damn line. Mm -hmm. Sounds just like dating. <laughs> feel anything yet? Yep. I feel like I already have got it, one. Got it, got it. Oh, dude, you yeah, do have oh one. God. Hell yeah. <laughs> no way, dude. Woo! I'm still learning with fishing, but I know that I'm getting into a groove and it's really fun to head out there with Amber and Trish and contribute to our meals for the day. Wait for oh my to get God. It. <laughs> Great job. That was awesome. It feels awesome to have a team like this that are strong, innovative, and everybody has a lot of heart and determination. So I think this team is kicking some ass. This is a huge moment and a huge win for our team out here. Now we just have to be proactive and keep a routine up so we can get these girls to day 40 and me to day 60. Oh, it's so good. Yum. We just boiled it up, have our little fish stew. Oh, it's so good. My belly is happy. Fantastic. Oh, oh. What? Oh, bit my crutch. Oh. Sorry. He's, everybody's hungry out oh. here. Everybody's hungry in the jungle. Everything's on the menu. So I'm looking for Y sticks to add to my bed. I need a raised bed. I don't believe I got any sleep last night. It rained all night, we were wet all night. So Jen and I have decided to build elevated platform beds so we can hopefully stay warm, dry, and uh, not be stuck in the mud. I'm trying to use bamboo as my, as my braces. Solid sleep, even if it's an hour out in these conditions, is huge. I gotta get food. Well, Trish and Jen build beds. I'm gonna go to the water. I'm going to set up my fishing lanes right now because as a team, we have to divide and conquer. I call it the golden hour. As soon as I wake up, I'm gonna start going fishing. That's when they hit the most. Look at that, there we go, going for it. They are flapjacks of the Amazon. <laughs> so I'll do two of these holes that are like body width wide. 
My idea for this bed is to raise it a little bit off the ground so that I am not directly in the dirt and the mud. I don't want the rain to take me out of this challenge like it did my last. I'm gonna have a couple posts and wrap it and weave it with vine. Looks like I got bait still, so I'm gonna do it again and hopefully I catch another one. Conquer and divide is the way to survive. If one person is fishing, the other person has to be working on the shelter, getting water, and another person getting firewood. Oh, he's thinking about it. I'm falling. Ah, got you. That's my jungle jam. Look at that. You tell me, does size matter? Yes, it does. It matters. <laughs> oh my god. Are you using penis sticks on your bed? Perhaps. There may be a decorative fashion. <laughs> you could make a headboard of penis branches. Huh? A headboard. Come on. Hey guys. Hey. I got two really good sized fish. Very awesome. Thanks. Thank you, Amber. Yeah. So we can cook. He's, if you guys want to put it on the fire. Uh, fire's not ready. Oh. Um, okay. Sorry, we were just cleaning and working on our beds. Well, Attitude. I'll start the fire. Let me go and put him up away from everybody. I was hoping that today we can get some uh, palms for our roof, just in case it looks a little dried out, that we were really set up well in case of a rain. I'm gonna finish up my bed, just fix up part of the weaving. I'm gonna get working on my bed today, too. It takes a long time to weave it. I want everybody to have their bed, and that way they can have their space. But we wanna finish making these beds as soon as possible, because the most important thing is your shelter, especially the rainforest. We can't predict the weather here when it's gonna rain. And so my mindset as a survivalist is focusing on the basics, food, water, fire, shelter. Always make sure that roof over your head is secure no matter what. I'm gonna go get some palm fronds for us. I am worried that they're using too many palm fronds as their, for their bed though. Cause I mean like half of our palm fronds have been put down for their beds and I'm like, we need those for the roof. I have to be supportive of my partners, but we really have to keep layering those palm fronds to make sure that we're protected from the rain. Those are great palms. Amber wants to try to work on the roof repair, but I need to get my bed done. I'm trying to do as much as I can to at least sleep tonight and be comfortable. I mean, hey, I'm an old lady. I need like a Tempur-Pedic style bed. That will hold my big butt up. I'm weaving my bed right now. I'm just finishing up the mattress. It's definitely a tedious project, but I think it looks really cool. It's really durable. And I think this bed could hold me all 40 days. You okay? I cut my finger. I'm in my shelter working on the woven part of my new bed and just cutting cordage, a simple task. And I slip and I cut my finger. Can we get a medic really quick? We got some blood up in here. I think I cut off the whole side of my finger. <laughs> just keep it pressure on it. That. That's a little scary. Yeah, that was pretty. Scary. At least it's on my left hand. Give us a little Oh. Now you can see what's happening. It's like the whole top. I'm seeing the inside of your finger. The top of your fingers cut off. Mm, that's kind of bad. Up. Yep. What are we doing? I would look, look at it. it. Don't look nope. at it. Mm. She lay needs down. to lay down. She'll get lightheaded. She'll get lightheaded. There you go. Mm. You're okay. You got this. You got this. Oh. oh. Yep. You're okay. 
Out of all the injuries I've seen, I haven't seen that. You cannot get that dirty. My girl. The rest of my hand is going a little numb. Is it? I mean, it's not pain, but I'm just letting you know. Luckily, I don't need stitches, but it's crucial that I don't get it infected. So I'm glad to have it bandaged up now and keep it safe for a day or two while it starts healing. It's such a tough hit. I see you. I'm just fine. Look at the finger. You're doing good. That cut she has, she's actually lucky that's all she got because she could have really gotten hurt. So I know that she won't make that mistake again. The pain is OK. I think the pain is fine. I think you're numb is what it is. It took out a chunk of yours. Yeah, yeah. It's just the tip. Well, sometimes just the tip is all you need. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>